Senator Colby. Uh, thank you, Deputy President. Well, in eight months, Australians are seeing that the Labor that they voted for is not the Labor that is governing. We see continued efforts by Labor to deflect answers at question time. They don't want to answer the question. They don't want to take responsibility for anything that they've done. They clearly don't want to take responsibility for their broken promises. And Senator Birmingham asked a very legitimate question, given the fact that during the lead-up to the election and the promises made by uh, the, uh, the then opposition leader, now Prime Minister, that he wanted to see real wages continuing to increase. And Australians have seen in just short, eight short months that that is not going to happen, an admission by the government now that it won't happen. It's just like the promise that they made of $275 a year in reduction in energy prices, which now will not pass the lips of any Labor member of parliament. That promise is gone, and so the empty promises, the broken promises, are now starting to pile up. In eight short months, the broken promises are starting to pile up. I don't know how many times I heard Mr Albanese saying that he had a plan for the economy. It's become increasingly apparent that he has no plan for the economy because every time something goes wrong, he says we have to go out and talk to people. He said he had a plan. There is no plan there to implement. Absolutely no plan to implement. And as has been said earlier, um, cheaper childcare is an important thing for the Australian economy. But not everyone has children and not everyone is um, reaping the benefit of that, but they are reaping the, the, the problem of increasing energy prices. And I have to say, uh, what we're looking forward to, what's being predicted out of the gas markets, for example, is a continuing increase in the price of gas because there will be less gas because of the intervention of the Labor Party. And Mr Deputy President, only the Labor Party could spend a billion and a half dollars to put gas prices up when they promised to bring them down. Only the Labor Party could do that. But we're seeing the same thing starting to emerge. It's the same old Labor. Deflect the problem. Cute language. Blame somebody else. Blame the previous government. Never take responsibility for anything that you've done yourself. And of course, when the questions get really hard, descend into personal abuse. Start hurling abuse across the chamber. And we see that so many times. How does that work in a post-Jenkins world in this place? Not conducive to that sort of respect that the Prime Minister promised. A kind of parliament. Wasn't there a memo that went out? Did the Prime Minister, was the, was the Prime Minister the only one that got the memo? Did the other ministers in his government get the memo as well? They don't seem to be following it. Or is it just when someone's asking the Prime Minister a question that the memo applies? I reckon that's the case. Don't ask the Prime Minister any hard questions. Don't ask him about him keeping his promises. Wages going up higher than inflation. Cheaper power prices. All we're seeing is the same old Labor. We all know, particularly those of us on this side, that Labor can't manage the economy. We've seen it time after time after time. We remember the pink bats. We remember the school halls. We remember the extraordinary spending that went on uh, during the global financial crisis. And we remember that Labor wanted us to spend $6 billion asking Australians to get vaccinated when all we had to do was give them a good reason to get vaccinated, and they did. They turned out in their droves. So here we have re-emerging the same old Labor, and it's mostly the same people from 2007 to 2013, mostly the same people, and we're going to get the same results. We know that Labor can't handle the economy. They'll try and blame everybody else, they'll try and deflect, they'll try and abuse, and they'll try to put it off onto somebody else. But Labor, we know. 6,000 words we found out. They want to take economic policy back to the 1970s. They want to undo the reforms of Hawke and Keating that were so important in the last 30 years of economic prosperity in this country. It is the same old Labor. We shouldn't forget that. They won't keep their promises 
and they won't take responsibility for that and they won't own up. I put the question.